And the other thing we need to do is to accept the resignation of Donna Bagney from the Board of Health. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to request that you read her uh, letter of resignation into the record. Okay, dated February 2nd um, to the Honorable Board of Selectmen. Uh, I have been honored to serve the Town of Pembroke as an elected board position on the Board of Health. My main, main reason so many years ago to run was that I truly wanted to make a difference within this department for the people of Pembroke. For the last year and a, he year and a half, I have found that it is not possible for me to continue to make a difference and act in the best interest of our great town. Due to the personal conflict of issues between the newest elected member and staff, putting forth our agents grudges and lack of knowledge for laws, rules, and regulations that the Board of Health represents and is required to uphold on behalf of the town and its citizens. It is with regret that I am writing to inform you of my decision to resign my position on the Board of Health effective immediately. It has been a pleasure being a part of the Board of Health and I am proud of all that I and previous board members have accomplished in the past years. If I can be any of assistance during the time uh, it will take to fill the position, please don't hesitate to ask Donna Bagney. Um, Mr. Chairman, I would move that we accept with regret the um, resignation of Donna Bagney and we make note of her reason for leaving and um, we don't have a tally, I don't think, yet of how much it's cost us in legal fees uh, with our newest member, but it was up over $20,000, as I recall, uh, Sabrina, isn't that right? Yes, it was. The other thing I'd like to, to bring up, um, well, why don't, why don't we take this vote, and then I have something else to bring up in regards to this that um, I would like to see happen. Um, so we have a motion and a second. Second. Um, All right, Mr. Chairman, before we take a vote, mm -hmm. I'd just uh, like to ask Ed, do we have any candidates for the interim position? I run in. I was going to make the suggestion, Mr. Chairman, and it, it's good that Matthew picked up on it, uh, was that we advertise it as um, a vacant position and that within the uh, next two weeks or a week from our next meeting that we fill the spot with um, the best candidate we can find. I'll yeah, make that in the form good. of a motion if, if Matthew will second it. I second that. Okay, so let's get through with this this uh, motion and second first to accept the resignation and then make the motion after that, all right? Okay. Um, so move to accept the resignation with regret of Don of Agni. All those in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? And you have a motion to, to uh, fill the spot effective uh, two weeks from tonight. Uh, we'll take applications up until the uh, Wednesday before uh, the second meeting, and um, we take the most qualified candidate by a vote of this board jointly with the remaining members of the um, Board of Health. Mr. Chairman, uh, you folks aren't scheduled to meet in two weeks. Okay. That's President's Day weekend. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, uh, say three weeks then. Well, it's a short window, but we can make it one week and do it, fill it uh, a week from the night. You're not going to get 50 candidates, as we know from the volunteers that we uh, that we get. So, you know, if we get one or two. Yeah, I, I think I, I would agree with Arthur on the shortened term here due to the holiday, okay. uh, because we are losing the chairman of that board, and that only leaves two people. And I don't know what their workload is. I know they are busy. So I think as soon as we can fill that position, the better off we'll be. Sounds good to me. So we change your motion to one week? To one week, yes. Yeah. <coughs> Second. All those in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? Also, I'd uh, like to bring up, um, I received a uh, copy of a police report uh, from the sergeant on the police department and is dated on January 27th of 2018 and 
<coughs> he was dispatched to a call um, on Taylor Street, and um, when he got there, he he met the uh, victim, and the victim indicated that um, that there was a female that identified herself as a Pembroke Board of Health agent. Um, and um, he talked to several other witnesses there. Um, I personally talked to the Board of Health agent myself. Um, she was not there. Somebody else represented themselves as an agent on the Board of Health, uh, which we only have one agent. So what I would like to do is have uh, Ed work with the police department and um, um, whoever else that you need to help you out with, but uh, this should be investigated that somebody is um, going beyond their powers that is working for the town. And uh, we don't need things like this to happen because it puts the town in a position to be sued. Um, and we don't have enough money as it is, never mind uh, being sued by the local people. So um, if you could look into that a little further, mm -hmm. uh, I'd appreciate it and get back to the board.